What's up guys, Preston Smiles here, founder of Man Cave, a conscious man brotherhood where we explore, expand, and elevate as a tribe. And today's transmission is the five ways to finally beat your porn addiction. Let's get it. So guys, let me start by saying this. Before we get into the five ways, I wanna say this. Our society is bipolar. The way that most of us grew up in a Western culture is this over-sexualized like boobs and ass and dicks everywhere. And then also we received this other message that was basically saying that good boys don't lust after women, good boys don't fondle their penis in the bathtub, good boys don't do all of these certain things. And so we're receiving these two messages that are conflicting. It's a dichotomy. And so that plus spending more time with your mother than you probably think you did and inheriting her ideas about what a man should and should not be has created a bunch of nice guys, a bunch of really good guys that behind the scenes are going ape shit on porn and masturbation. Now I say all of this not as somebody judging you or looking in on you, but as somebody who has been there. Somebody who has navigated this. First and foremost, I just want to say from my heart to yours, I feel you, I see you, the struggle is real, and there is so much beauty on the other side of it. So, way number one to beating your porn addiction. And this is actually the most important one out of all of them, and that is support. You see, no man is an island, and all of us are smarter than one of us. And when we come together and we support each other and we link arms and we get accountability and we receive support from our brothers, from our friends, from a counselor, from a group like Man Cave, then the whole thing levels up. A lot of us have been taught, and I know I've been taught this, if it hurts, you hide it. That big boys don't cry to man up, to don't be a wussy, to have it figured out. So we've been operating and navigating our lives thinking that we need to have all the right answers and that there is no space for us to fail or look stupid or be dumb or be vulnerable and transparent and need support. Why? Because everything we saw on movies and television were these Rambo, Terminator, really good looking James Bond type of guys who always had the right answers. They were never vulnerable. They never needed someone. And the people who needed someone were the weak guys. And so of course we don't want to be the weak guys, so we hide and suppress that aspect of ourselves, that needs, that's so wild. There's a warrior wild beast inside of you that is waiting to come out. And what happens when we suppress something and suppress something and suppress something, it needs to come out in other ways. So one of the best ways to beat your porn addiction is to stop and tell somebody. Get accountability, get in a group like Man Cave where we will hold you accountable for four months straight. I have seen with my own eyes hundreds of men go through Man Cave and beat their porn and masturbation addiction. And not just beat it, but become better versions of themselves. So way number one is get support. This is a big deal, whether it's a counselor, a friend, somebody to hold you accountable. Now, way number two to beating your porn addiction is bringing a deep awareness to how porn is already destroying your life and what it will do if you don't stop. You see, a lot of us aren't really aware of the damage it's doing. A lot of men that I've worked with myself didn't realize how depressed and how much of a hole they were in until they got on the other side of it. And so one of the first places to start, right, because you can't change something that you have no awareness of. So awareness comes before choice and choice comes before action. I'm gonna say that again. Awareness comes before choice and choice comes before action. And so bring in awareness. I want you today to open a journal, right? Your whole porn experience and then I want you to bullet point all the ways and at least come up with 10 ways in which porn is destroying your life. And then I want you to do a part B to that and write what will happen if you don't stop. And if you know that your intimacy or you can't get your dick hard with a real woman because you went crazy on all of these fetish porns to keep that dopamine hit, because that's what it is. You're not, uh, you're, you know, you may be into sucking toes or 35 
people gangbang a llama or whatever it is and laugh at that, that's funny, but you know what I mean. You may be into that, but nine out of 10, you're really not into that. Your brain is tricking you, it needs to get more higher and higher, so it's looking for new dopamine hits. And so regular porn and regular sex doesn't meet that. You have to keep upping the ante like an addict, right? This is a big deal. So awareness, journal, bullet points, big deal. Way number three to beat your porn addiction is to switch your routine. Like switch the whole thing up. Switch where your computer sits. If you know that you use your computer and you live at home, put the computer down in the kitchen, right where your mom cooks. And don't take it from there at all, if you can, for an extended amount of time. Now, in Man Cave, when we work together on beating these addictions, we, it's four months. Four months, nothing. And here's the thing. I'm not saying porn is bad. I'm not saying masturbation is bad. I'm saying those two things are bad when they have you instead of you having them. And a lot of men are addicted and that addiction means that they have to have it. And if you have to have it, you don't have it. Switch your routine. Change the email address associated with the porn that you get. Get a pop-up blocker and password protector and web filters so you can't go to certain sites. Have your best friend or somebody you trust, have them set the password and you don't have it. Like really put yourself in a position where you can't even get to it unless you go into somebody else's phone. Even if you live alone and you know that you usually masturbate sometime in the night right after a X, Y, and Z, you freaking don't, you plug your phone up downstairs. You plug your phone up way by the door and make it super hard and put like a long code that you have to put in. And this is only for a short amount of time until you can beat it, guys. Now, way number four to beating your porn addiction, and this one is funny but not funny, it is to unfollow all the Instagram models, anybody you watch that, that gets you aroused. Step away from the fantasy and the ideas of that stuff. Like take a digital detox from following Kylie Jenner or whoever you're following that gets you all riled up and makes you want to go masturbate. Like it's actually a big deal to unfollow all of those people. Anybody associated to masturbation or sex, unfollow them. Period. Way number five to beating your porn addiction, and this is the last one, is to focus on your personal development. Meaning, take that same energy that you were putting into your porn addiction. And let me say this, guys. Porn and the addiction to porn creates a lot of guilt and shame. I know this firsthand. And that shame and that guilt keeps you from being the best version of yourself. These are some of the lowest vibrations on the planet. And so when we start to fill our cup, because we've told other people this is something we're working through, and then we go, we fill our cup with sports, and nature and reading things that help us going to seminars and workshops and just having fun with your friends. Replace that addiction with something that heals your soul. Drink more water, exercise, like all of these things are beautiful ways to bring yourself back to the wholeness and the oneness that you were born as. Like I know this may sound like woo woo talk for some of you guys, but hear me bro, like it's a big deal. What you're experiencing right now is not who you are, it's who you became. And there's a big distinction between the two of those. So my work is about helping you come back to your truth. Now, I have a free course for any of you guys who really wanna go balls deep on, pun intended, on how to be an alpha male, like a conscious alpha male. It is prestonsmiles.com forward slash alpha dash male. This is a free course that'll help you and guide you on how to really fill your cup and give from the overflow. If this touched your heart in any way, if this supported you in any way, I ask that you send this message to anybody you think would receive value from this. From my heart to yours, much love, my brother. See you soon, King.